my students and welcome back today's lesson will be in your student book inshallah we are going to read a, an article together and the title is Rufaida al Aslamiya. before starting i just want to tell you that um, i work with relief international and my name is rahma this video is funded by the american government the outcomes of this lesson are to use context to guess the meaning of a new words, to interpret an article, to make inferences about Rufaida al-Islamiyah's qualities. Now let's start with your student book, page 27. Okay, open your student book. Let's start with this picture. What do you see? Yes, there are many tents. So this is a tent. The meaning of tent is khayma. Yes, we use it for different reasons. Okay. And in different places. In this lesson, we are going to talk about tents that were used as hospitals. Okay, now let's continue. Let's move to the next page. A compassionate hero. Do you know the meaning of hero? We talked before about hero. Yes, hero means butter. Yes, excellent. Tab. What's the meaning of compassionate? It's a new word. First, is the sentence noun adjective? Yes, it is an adjective. Zanhona anna, two words. The first one is compassionate and it is an adjective and hero is the noun. Is an hona il sifab to sif il ismiali badha. Tamam? Tab. What's the meaning of compassionate? It means showing sympathy towards other. Okay, and this meaning is you is in your uh, glossary at the end of your activity book. But la ul meanings al maani uh, English in English, okay, is an uh, showing sympathy towards others, is a compassionate, it means atuf, uh, rahim, okay. Now let's start with the question number one. Listen to the words below in context, try to guess their meanings, is an here we have many new words. You're going to listen carefully, okay, to these words. And uh, you're going to uh, know their meaning from the context. هلا رح تسمعوا الجمل فيهم هدول الكلمات. Okay. يلي هم question number one. Okay. Let's start. Module three, page twenty-seven, exercise one. One. There was blood coming from the wound on his arm. Two. Two armies fought each other in a big battle. Three. The caring nurse sat with her patients and made sure they felt better. Yes, so before continuing, before completing the, uh, the words, let's start with these words. One, two and three. The first one is what? Wound, okay? Let's read the sentence. There was blood. Can I use it? What? Blood. Look at the picture. Blood. Dima. Yes. Or dam. Coming from the wound of his arm. Look at this picture. Uh, there was blood coming from the wound of her what? Uh, of her uh, leg maybe, right? Okay. So this is the wound, the wound, and wound is what? It is a noun. Okay, let's continue. It means a um a cut or a hole in your skin. تمام جرح في البشر. Okay, let's continue. Two, two armies fought, قاتلوا each other. بعضهم two armies يلي هم جيشين ممكن يكونوا. In a big battle, was me a battle? Yes, battle means maraka. Okay, battle means maraka. In English, it is a noun, he is 
and in English it means a fight قتال between two groups بين مجموعتين of people as a part of a larger war okay إذا بتذكرنا ب war إذا it is a part of a larger war إذا هي جزء من معركة كبيرة تمام let's continue look at this picture this is a battle a fight في عنا قتال three the caring nurse sat with her patients and made sure they felt better the caring nurse then caring what comes after caring yes there is a noun the nurse is a noun قلنا noun لما يكون في قبله بيكون في قبله adjective beautiful إذا caring هون adjective okay caring showing kindness towards other بيظهر اللطف إذا هي nurse ممرضة شو بنوصفها إنها caring okay uh, مهتمة عطوفة تمام look at this picture there are two boys okay one of them is caring okay um, and taking care of the other let's continue Module 3, page 27, exercise 1. 1. 4. My compassion means that I feel sad when I see other people in pain. 5. Dad is a compassionate man who takes care of the poor. 6. She wants to encourage her children to read a lot because it is a good way to learn new words. 7. Armies are made up of many soldiers who fight for their country. Now let's start with number 4. My compassion means that I feel sad when I see other people in pain. Then my compassion here means compassion um عطف شفقة okay طبعا in طبعا this word is a noun تمام compassion is a noun okay compassion means a strong feeling of care شعور قوي بالعناية for someone in pain لشخص في ألم بيكون and the desire to help them والرغبة بمساعدتهم إذا ها هي compassion okay Let's uh, طبعا look at this picture. This uh, woman is feeling or uh, with other uh, with her friend, for example. Five. That is compassionate. طبعا compassionate is an adjective هنا. إذا compassion noun. Compassionate adjective. إذا هي رحيمة uh, عطوف رحيم شفوق. Okay. إذا that is a compassionate man. رجل رحيم who takes care of the poor okay بيعتني بالفقراء for example look at this picture there is a woman she is what a compassionate uh, she takes care of the boy تمام top 6 she wants to encourage her children to read a lot because it's very it's a good way to learn new words with meaning of encourage Yes, uh, in English, encourage means to give someone the courage, okay, or confidence, تعطي الشجاعة أو الثقة, to face something difficult, أن يواجه شيء صعب فأنت عم بتشجع, okay, so encourage here is a verb, هي, هي فعل, يشجع. Now let's uh, move to the last one. Armies are made up of many soldiers who fight for their countries. Is that soldier? Look at this picture. Yes, this is a soldier. This is a soldier. Hada jundi. Then soldier it means jundi, and it is a noun. He is him. Okay. Um, in English, soldier means a member of the army. Of a country. 
armies means jaysh or juyush tamam okay now let's continue let's start with this question find the words one a strong feeling of care for someone who is suffering okay suffering yuani and a desire to help them the answer here is yes compassion okay compassion two a fight between groups من كلمة fight fight قتال between groups of people as a part of a larger war the answer is battle معركة battle three a member of the army yes soldier soldier يلي هو الجندي now let's move to the next page reading okay Let's read this article together and um, let's know new information about this hero, the hero Fayda al Islamiya. So let's start. We are going to uh, read these paragraphs one by one. We will read them, okay? And now we have five paragraphs. Let's start with the first paragraph. Rufayda al Islamiya. Islam's first female nurse lived during the time of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and was one of the first people in Medina to accept Islam. So, Rufayda al Aslamiya, Islam's first female nurse. Okay? Then, here, our Mumarida, female, Elihi Unthayani, she was a woman. Uh, female the opposite منها عكسها اللي هو male okay uh, lived during the time of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is and who is Rufayda al Islamiya yes Rufayda al Islamiya Islam's first female nurse then she was a nurse okay um, now let's this is the answer. Let's read the second question. When did she live? Yes, she lived during the time of Prophet Muhammad. Is an Rufayda كانت أول ممرضة بالإسلام كانت وعاشت بزمن الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم. And was what one of the first people in Medina to accept Islam. Now. What's what's the meaning of one of the first people in Medina? كانت أول الناس في المدينة to accept Islam إنها accept هنا بمعنى دخلت الإسلام اعتنقت الإسلام. Okay. تمام. Now let's look at the verb lived. What is it grammatically? Yes, it is past simple or simple past verb to هو فعل ماضي. Because we are talking about Rufayda and uh, she lived in the past. عاشت في الماضي زمن الرسول. لهيك تقريبا كل الأزمنة بالverb أو بالarticle sorry بالمقالة رح تكون بتصريف الثاني اللي هو الverb تو بزمن الماضي. Okay. Uh, she was one of the first people in مدينة to accept accept قلنا يلي هي دخلت اعتنقت الإسلام. طيب. To accept. What comes after to? Yes, infinitive verb. Infinitive, then accept is infinitive verb. Now let's move to the second paragraph. She was a compassionate woman who was most famous for treating soldiers in battle. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, invited her to help Muslims by giving medical help to his soldiers when they needed it the most. In times of war, Rufayda set up hospital tents next to the battlefield so that injured soldiers could be treated at once. She trained other nurses 
to help as many injured men as possible. They were trained to treat wounds, but also to be caring and kind. This is the second paragraph. Let's start from the first. From the beginning. She was a compassionate woman. She refers to? Yes, she, I'm talking about Rufayda. She was a compassionate woman. Olna, compassionate here is, yes, an adjective here. Sifab, to sif al ism yali baadha. Then he can't imra'a. What's the meaning of compassionate? Atufa, yes, excellent. Rahime, yes. Who, who aida ala mean? Al compassionate woman. Okay, who was most famous for treating soldiers? Then kanat mashhura, most famous. What is it grammatically most famous? Yes, it is a superlative adjective. Then he stifa. If then cannot akthar ishi mashhura fi huwa treating soldiers in battle. Mu'alajat, treating, it is a noun. Treating, mu'alajat, or ilaj, soldiers, a junood in battle fil maraka. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, invited her. To help Muslims. Then why did the Prophet Muhammad invite her? Lida'aha. Yes, the answer. To help Muslims. Prophet Muhammad invited her. To help لحد Muslims. How? Kif? By giving medical help. عبر إعطاهم. What's the meaning of medical help? Yes, المساعدة الطبية. إذا by giving medical help إعطاء المساعدة الطبية to his soldiers لجنوده when they needed it the most إذا what does the pronoun they refer to yes مين تعطي لمين مساعدة لل soldiers تمام okay now uh, let's continue لما يكونوا بيأمثل حاجة للمساعدة هي كانت تقدم لهم طبعا كونه كان في حروب فكانت المساعدة تقدمها هي أكيد طبية لأنه she was a nurse هي كانت ممرضة In times of war في أوقات الحرب رفيدة set up hospital tents next to the battlefield شو عملت set up means أنشأت أقامت hospital tents أوكي خيام لكن كانت هذه الخيام لتقديم مساعدة طبية كمستشفى أوكي next to بجانب the battlefield بجانب ساحة المعركة أنشأتها so that injured soldiers حتى إنه الجنود الجرحى could be treated at once تم معالجتهم فورا as soon as possible تمام طب now what What did she do in times of war? She set up hospitals. Okay, in times of war, she set up hospitals. Next, hospital tents. Sorry, next to the battlefield. تمام. Okay. Uh, now let's read the last paragraph. She tra trained other nurses. Then دربت other nurses ممرضات آخرين. To help as many injured men as possible. حتى تساعد أكبر قدر ممكن من الرجال الجرحى. Injured men. They were trained to treat wounds. مين هم they? Yes, nurses. They were trained تم تدريبهم to treat wounds حتى يعالجوا الجروح. But also to be caring حتى يكونوا Caring and kind. طبعا these two adjectives. طبعا the meaning of caring يلي هو um, قلنا in English showing kindness. كونوا um, عاطفين. Okay. Uh, مهتمين. And kind. ولطفين. تمام. Let's move to the next paragraph. Rufayda's success was noticed by Prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon him. To encourage her, a tent was set up by the Prophet's mosque, peace be upon him. Let's start. Let's stop here. Let's start with the first line, Rufayda's success. What's the meaning of Rufayda's success? 
Yes, it means Najah Rufayda was noticed Luhida by Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Okay? Then was noticed. What is it grammatically? Yes, passive. Luhida. Mean la hadu hada al najah ilho Prophet Muhammad. Tamam? Then who noticed Rufayda's success? Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. To encourage her, Attent حتى يشجعها Attent في خيمة was set up تم إنشاءها by أو أقيمة هذه الخيمة by the Prophet's Mosque بجانب next to the Prophet Mosque اللي هي مسجد الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم So she could continue her voluntary work وبذلك استطاعت إكمال her voluntary work عملها التطوعي helping the sick voluntary work means what عملها تطوعي helping the sick اللي هي مساعدة المرضى using her own money طبعا كان using her own money باستخدام مساريها الخاصة أو فلوسها الخاصة لي لأنه كان أصلا عملها تطوعي تمام؟ She listened to people and looked at how they lived. استمعت للناس and looked how they they اللي هم نفسهم ال people how they live. Then she helped them وساعدتهم make their lives healthier جعلت حياتهم أكثر صحية أكثر and more comfortable. Just as the prophet peace be upon him. Understood the importance. The Rasul صلى الله عليه وسلم كان طبعا فهم أهمية عملها. Okay, people around the world today, especially doctors and nurses, should continue to view. لازم بدو يكملوا الناس يقتدوا بالرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم. و و should continue يكملوا to view رفيدة. As an example of compassion, يظهر رفيدة كرمز أو مثال قدوة of compassion للرحمة والعطف. Okay. Now we have finished. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.